What's good YouTube? How's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another reaction video. If you're new here for the first time, my name is TMR and since you clicked on this video, you might as well subscribe to this YouTube channel and please make sure you click the notification bell and make sure you give me a big thumbs up and also leave your comments down below. What's up TMR gang gang? Welcome back. Welcome back to the Car Chronicles. I'm your girl TMR. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And now that you're here, make sure before you leave, you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can become a part of the TMR gang gang as well. This is the Car Chronicles, honey, and it goes down in the Car Chronicles where we discuss the YouTube videos that you all watch. I know a lot of y'all sometimes be clicking on these videos and y'all be thinking, why am I still watching these channels? Well, sis, I'm going to tell you why. Because you love the tea, you love the drama, you love the entertainment, and you just like living vicariously sometimes through other people, okay? And so that's why we watch these channels, and that's why we come over here in the Car Chronicles, and y'all, we talk about it, okay? So y'all, before we get started with the YouTube-ish, I want to share with you guys my little experience I had today. So I went to the eyelash shop to get my eyelashes done and it's a small little shop y'all. And after I got my eyelashes done, you know, I had to go put my coat on. So when you first walk in, there's like these two little benches where people can sit down, you know, and it's Saturday y'all, it's packed. So there was one lady sitting on one like little bench on one end and there was a lady sitting on the bench on the other end. So I, came out like it's a small space y'all so I came out from the area where you get your lashes done and I was standing by the little benches I seen the two ladies as I was walking up to the bench so I try to angle myself in between the benches so I could put my coat on so honey I guess the lady that was sitting behind me honey I guess I was like all up on her I don't know y'all because I consciously I made sure not to be you know have my butt all up in somebody's face so all of a sudden I hear something and I hear the lady saying like she was mumbling under her breath. So I kind of turned around. She said, can you please move your ass up out of my face? And I'm like, who's she talking to? I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like my apologies. I wasn't trying to, you know, just throw my tail all up in your face, sis. Like at the end of the day, you do see this is a small space. And once you see me, you know, turning the you know, turning myself so I can put my coat on, maybe you should have scooted over a little bit because how can I tell what I'm doing behind me? Yes, since I can't see behind me. And like, I seen her sitting there, the two ladies. So obviously you guys, I tried to position myself to where I wasn't, you know, in front of either the two ladies. So I was like, y'all, but she was real nasty with it. I just say to her, look girl, I cannot help this wagon that I got. Since sometimes it's a little uncontrollable. Okay, yeah, I can't help it. You know, blame it on my mama. All right. So I was like, okay, girl, are you not getting ready to mess up my little day, honey? Cause I, I, you know, it's positive vibes over here today. I'm feeling good. Shoot, I just got my lashes done. Look, I'm looking good. Since you're not getting ready to bother me. But y'all know how people can just F up a situation, just F up your whole mood. And I was like, mm-mm, sis, you're not getting ready to take me out of my character. Because I just said to her, look, I apologize. I'm sorry, girl. And walked out the door like, girl, bye. Anyway, so I stopped at the gas station, you guys, on my way out, you know, to get started with my errands today. And, honey, I found this, y'all. It is a unicorn cappuccino. Baby, when I tell you this thing gives you life. Oh my God, y'all. And I know Starbucks sold some type of unicorn beverage, whatever, but I heard it was real expensive. I don't even know if they still have it, but they said it was uh, limited time or whatever. So I was just like, ooh, we, y'all, when I tell you this thing is so daggone good and this size was like a dollar 42 cents with tax, I was like, ooh, I'm winning, honey. But yes, this is like my new go-to. They said it's only here for a limited time, so I'm gonna be real sad when it go, but. I'm going to go to Walmart or one of these stores and see if they sell, you know, like a replica type or whatever. But y'all, when I tell you this thing is so good and you don't need anything, like you don't have to put anything in it. I got a friend who always puts sugar in her cappuccino. And I'm like, girl, it's already sweet enough. Why don't you put more sugar in that damn cappuccino? But anyway, that's her belly, body, and mouth. But y'all, this is perfect just like it is. Like, it is so delicious. So I don't know if any of you guys were able to catch the verses um, the other night. 
believe that was Thursday night. It was Ashanti and Keisha Cole. Now, y'all know it was highly anticipated versus. It had been um, rescheduled, I think, like twice. It was supposed to actually happen around the end of last year. And then Ashanti said she had the C-19, honey, and she couldn't perform. But they finally went on Thursday. And I caught it. You know, like, I don't know what it is with the verses, y'all. It never starts on time. I'm thinking to myself, my goodness, how can y'all even perform, like, for a live audience and nobody ever wants to show up on time? I guess, you know, everybody taking advantage of this real lax environment because of the pandemic. Everybody chilling at the crib, so they feel like, well, it ain't like you had to get dressed and leave your house to come here. So, I guess everybody like, you know what, if you got away, so what? You ain't doing nothing but sitting on your couch. But anyway, y'all. So, it finally happened, the verses with Ashanti and Keisha Cole. Now, I'm going to let you know, I am a Ashanti and a Keisha Cole fan. Um, Keisha Cole, I like Keisha Cole. She has her own type of style. Obviously, Ashanti has her own. But, y'all, when I finally, I didn't even know it was on. And when I discovered it was on, I tuned into it. And Ashanti was just sitting there by herself. And I'm like... Okay, this is weird, you know. Um, obviously, they were doing the whole social distancing thing. So Ashanti was in one location, Keisha Cole was in another another location, and y'all, Keisha Ashanti was on the stage forever by herself, just like singing old songs the DJ was playing for her. And and my whole time, I'm like, where is Keisha at? Like, surely since they told you what time it started, I think the verse is supposed to start at eight o'clock. I'm like, Keisha, yo, you know, your people didn't tell you what time you were supposed to be here. So, y'all, next thing you know, Keisha shows up. And, y'all, she appeared to have, like, a really stank attitude. She had something going on prior to coming to perform or whatever. And I was like, well, since if you wasn't really, you know, in the mood to do this, you could have did, like, Ashante and you could have rescheduled. Because we're not really trying to feel your stank vibe because... Y'all, she was giving me whole stank. Ashanti seemed like she was being a really good sport. And, you know, she was trying to hold the crowd together and entertain. Obviously, she's a performer. So, she was doing what she paid to do, perform. So, she was trying to keep, you know, the audience together. And But, y'all, I really feel like that versus could have been a whole lot better if the audio was much better like it can't it kind of gave me teddy riley baby face vibes okay you y'all remember the whole debacle with them like that's what it was giving me like come on now y'all need to do better than this so i really feel like keisha cole didn't sing a lot of her hits it's a couple hits that i felt like were really really good hits for her and she didn't sing and then towards the end, OT Genesis came on, and I was like, okay, this is weird. So, y'all know there was a whole thing with Keisha Cole and OT Genesis. He was, you know, uh, mocking her mother for being on drugs. And so, basically, he came on, and they were vibing together, Keisha Cole OT Genesis. And I was just kind of looking like, girl, the way he just clowned your mama, like, you know, I wouldn't even... You know, I could see you maybe forgiving him or just ignoring him. But I, me personally, yeah, he wouldn't have been on, on the verses with me. Like, no, I, I, he wouldn't have been there. Her sister, Keisha Cole's sister, when she seen what happened, honey, she went on her, I believe it's her Instagram. And honey, she had a few choice words for the whole situation and for Keisha Cole as well. And, you know, as y'all know... You know, Keisha has six siblings, brothers and sisters, and because of their mom's situation, you know, being on drugs pretty much the whole time her kids been on this earth, um, it's been, you know, they're siblings, but they were kind of like estranged siblings, and they're trying to, you know, get things back together. And obviously, Keisha, the one with the most money and, you know, celebrity status and stuff, she did, she's doing a lot and has done a lot for her family, so... Me, my opinion, if I was her sister, I like, since I understand you being a little upset, but I, this is, again, y'all, this is my opinion, Keisha has done a lot for that family, and me, I, that would have been something I would have just said to Keisha behind the scenes, yeah, the whole world wouldn't have really needed to know how I felt about that, but again, y'all, we know how the internet is, and we know everybody on here trying to be seen, okay? It is what it is. But y'all let me know your thoughts down below, what you thought about the verses with Ashanti and Keisha Cole. I, again, you guys, I thought 
it was good for the most part it was good to hear some of the you know my old hits for both of the ladies but um i just felt like their energy was a little off you know at the end of the day keisha and ashanti feel you know both were have this diva ish persona and i think it was just really coming out um in that versus with the two of them you know but who do i think won me personally ashanti although i do like keisha i like keisha cole's music i like her vibe but i just really feel like ashanti won it and that's just my opinion all right y'all so let's skedaddle on over here to uh old Liv's life y'all y'all what is going on with olivia that girl now so we know that when the vlogmas first started olivia took like maybe two weeks to get out of her thanksgiving vibe she was giving us thanksgiving vibes for about two weeks into vlogmas and we was like okay sis like i'm gonna need you to catch up olivia she you know vlogmas was kind of a bust for olivia well in her latest video she let us know that she finally took a christmas tree down and i'm thinking to myself girl it's not like you had your whole house decked out it's not like you have an upstairs downstairs home several bedrooms you had the whole house just there since you had a, a christmas tree it took that girl 10 she said 10 days she said it took her 10 days to take down her christmas tree i was like sis you know you took that christmas tree down on the 21st of january now that that was an old video because you know she had the braids in her hair but she just took her braids out i think like a couple days ago i mean i'm not really sure but i was just like girl why are you just not taking down a christmas tree and you literally are stay at home all day on day me personally i would have got tired of looking at the damn christmas tree y'all me i my christmas tree is always down before new year's day always i take my stuff down a couple days after christmas it's definitely down before new year's eve uh, my family we just have a thing we not trying to bring the old year into the new year so when it comes to christmas decorations although they're beautiful to look at that's why i try to get my christmas decorations up like around thanksgiving you know a week or so before thanksgiving so we can live in the ambiance through thanksgiving and christmas but y'all once them gifts are open and everybody has gotten their gifts and the tree is cleared out baby i'm ready to take my tree down I, I, i'm tired i'm i'm frustrated and i'm like christmas out so i know a lot of people love the holidays and they love you know christmas is actually my favorite holiday especially to decorate for but I'm just, me personally, I'm just not going to live with my tree up uh, until Valentine's Day. Yeah, I'm just not going to do that. So, um, in the video, y'all, we she did two videos that I saw, okay? Um, we're going to talk about the video before the, the most recent one. Um, she was getting her son's haircut. Well, Brandon took her son to get his haircut. And you notice in the video that Olivia truck was in the parking lot so at first i was thinking to myself well, wait a minute gerard she met gerard up here to get the little boy's haircut and then girl next thing you know honey that girl said she finally got her truck and she took her truck back i was like okay girl yeah i mean damn you should have been did that like you look like a whole damn fool your whole husband riding his other woman around in the truck your mama paid for so i was like i mean okay girl about time so she was like oh my god you guys you know he never paid for this truck my mother has been paying for this car note and i'm thinking to myself well okay girl i mean sound like y'all the fool he's not the fool you trying to make gerard seem like uh, a nothing ninja because he didn't pay the car note well y'all sound like the dummies for paying it because if a nigga can't pay the car no then he can't drive so what you want gerard to feel bad because he basically used you and your mama yes yeah, it's you i mean you can only get mad at yourself you can't get mad at him so what you want you want him to feel so i i, I don't know y'all i guess she wanted us to feel some type of way about gerard because he drove a car that her and her mama willingly allow him to keep and drive without paying for it so you want us to feel like gerard ain't shit because that happened yes yeah, sis i mean shit okay i mean that nigga seen the opportunity and took advantage of it i mean y'all allowed it like y'all allowed him to take advantage of it so you know what at this point 
Gerard needed to give that truck back. Olivia shouldn't even had to repo it. You should have went on and gave that truck back since you didn't left her. You know, you need to leave all the possessions that are attached to her with her. Okay. Obviously ex excluding the children, of course. But yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Like, all right, Gerard, yeah, you need to move on. I mean, it's obviously you have moved on. You living with a whole nother chick and you left your wife in Florida to be with this chick. So me personally, if I was Olivia, when that ninja would have left me in Florida. Oh, baby, he would have to leave that car and them keys, too. Like, you the fool for allowing him to take that truck back to Texas so he can go and ride a whole nother woman around in it, okay? Or him getting back and forth to work. But see, I really feel like Olivia allowed that to happen because deep down in her heart, she really felt like her and Gerard was going to get back together like they have had in the past numerous of times. I really felt like Gerard... Olivia was allowing Gerard to keep that car because that was her leverage with him. You know, it could have been one of two things. Gerard could have even said, you know what, come get this car because I ain't got time to be listening to your mouth. Or it could have been, she was like, nigga, give me my car. Y'all, it could have been one of the two. Personally, I think it was more of Gerard was like, yeah, come get this car. Like, because I, I ain't got to be dealing with you like that. You know, Gerard got a whole job. He making money. Uh, his woman, they say she got two jobs. Okay, y'all put y'all money together. Everybody should be able to drive their own daggone car. So, at the end of the day. So, Brandon drove the car. I guess he drove it back to Olivia's house for her. And so, I was thinking, well, where is Brandon's car? Because... Unless you took Brandon to go to where Gerard was to pick the car up. If Brandon drove the truck, how did Brandon get to the barbershop? Or did or do y'all think Gerard drove the car to the barbershop and had somebody there to escort him off the premises in, in whatever vehicle? Because obviously Gerard can't drive two cars. So it's one of the two things. Either Gerard brought that car to her at the barbershop or... Brandon doesn't have a car, and now that Olivia got the car back from Gerard, she gonna let Brandon drive it. And do y'all think Olivia mama gonna pay for Brandon to drive the car since she paid for Gerard to drive the car? What y'all think? Y'all let me know down below. Y'all excuse these bumps and jumps and lumps, okay? Because these streets are raggedy AF where I live at, y'all. They so raggedy. It's so embarrassing. So y'all don't, don't mind these bumps, y'all. Just act like you in the car with me. Just be like, okay? Don't even mind it. So y'all let me know. So then the next video that girl did, y'all. Let me give me a little this unicorn in my life. All right, so the next video Olivia did. Should I give him another chance? I said, oh boy. I said, girl, you, you going to OD us on Brandon. For real, for real. You damn near like Jasmine, honey. You is go, y'all go OD us on these ninjas. So should you let give should you give Brandon a chance? Yeah, girl, you should. Yeah, go on, give him a chance, Olivia. Why not, girl? Look what all you done been through that man in just three damn months, sis. You might as well keep going through it, okay? So I'm just like, oh, oh. so in the video, y'all, she talked about they were at the park and she said Brandon was looking all sad and you know and she was putting the camera in Brandon's face, telling Brandon to say something and he wasn't really saying anything. And, you know, she said later in the video, she said the reason why Brandon wasn't saying much of anything is because they had just had a conversation. I was like, maybe Brandon wasn't saying too much of anything because, you know, he was trying, y'all probably did have a serious conversation and he wanted you to be serious with the conversation and maybe after, the aftermath of that conversation yeah he didn't feel like the fake camera being thrown up in his face well you know y'all again olivia want to let everyone know so this is a uh you know a disclaimer to all the men that could possibly even want olivia uh now or later on in the future um this is a disclaimer olivia wants men to know that she is a package deal herself her children and her youtube channel her career that's that's a package deal Okay, so if you deal with Olivia, you have to deal with the fact if you do anything to make her mad, she's going to blast your ass on the 
internet, okay? So that's a little FYI for all the prospective men out here that could possibly want to deal with Miss Olivia. Um, she, yeah, she's, if you deal with her and you F her over uh, or make her mad, she's gonna blast your ass on her YouTube channel, okay? So just to let y'all know, because she's a package deal, her, her children, and her YouTube career. In a sense, I understand what Olivia is saying to be with her you will be known because she does have a YouTube channel and she has a lot of followers on YouTube and Instagram. So in a sense, I understand that. However, however, I will say this. Showing some pictures of your new boot thing, okay, girl. But he get mad or you get mad at him because he didn't do what you want him to do. Me personally, I don't feel like that needs to be um, the next episode on Liv's life. That's just my personal opinion, okay? Because even Olivia said it in that video, you know, the one of the to me one of the reasons why her and Gerard is not together is you know that last incident when Gerard was trying to buy the ooh nani nani and she blasted it on the internet um I think that was probably the straw that broke the camel's back because although what Gerard did was dead ass wrong because you was a whole married man over there trying to buy the ill nana -na, but you know Olivia uh yeah you said you could have dealt with that a whole different way you know you had the world me me as a woman yeah i would have been a little shame that i would have to tell people that my man my husband is out here trying to buy the ill nana nana when he got a whole smorgasbord of punani sitting right there at his disposal but obviously he didn't want that ill nana because he you know went to, wanted to go buy it and then just a few weeks later he left the ill nana right there in florida so i don't know y'all but again Y'all, we watching these videos, and this is what these ladies are telling us, and this is what we're hearing, okay? So, at this point, you know, she said that Brandon was talking to some chick. I think it was a white girl, y'all. I don't know. That he was talking to some other chick, and I guess she found out about it. Well, Olivia, sis, I mean, what you expect, girl? So, you know, although you and Brandon have had a good time, you know, rolling around in the hay... He's probably dropped a couple I love you's here and there. Um, but at the end of the day, sis, he can only go so far with you because you're still in a situation. So for him to be out, you know, talking to other women, I mean, sis, I mean, it's probably only fair that he's able to do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, he's not committed to you. You're committed to someone else. Now, although you and Gerard both have moved on to different relationships, um, you know, and maybe the woman Gerard's with is really dedicated to the man she's with, which is Gerard, although he's in a situation with still Olivia. Um, since you, I mean, I think you might want to slow down on how you choosing and picking these men, you know, uh, just because somebody, you know, says you're cute at the little Caesars, uh, pizza shop doesn't mean that he needs to be coming over, sitting on your couch and, and laying in your bed the next day. Yeah, you know. That's just my opinion. I think sometimes you need to take time to date people and get to know people, you know, to make sure this is really who you want to deal with. Because, you know, at the end of the day, no one's perfect. Everybody has imperfections, you know, and you can't expect for Brandon to be perfect. But I do understand Olivia wanting the perfect man for her and her personality. And I, I understand she, she needs that. And I understand that. But since you can't build a man, okay he has to come to you already that way and how you find that is you you take your time and you you know you do like you do with anything else maybe you do your research you know y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below so we gonna get on off of olivia we didn't talk about her long enough you know sis i yeah i don't know what that girl over there doing but it's very entertaining to watch and i'm just like sis keep it coming okay keep it coming so uh so we now we're gonna skedaddle on over there to my jazzy life y'all so jasmine oh boy okay y'all she put out two videos that i she did a live and then she did a video about martin luther king day okay so jasmine did a video did a live where her and chris was laying in the bed in the middle of the afternoon uh, i guess sis was having an episode of depression and the only thing she could think to do was pick up her camera and go live okay instead of picking up the phone calling her doctor but okay so her and chris was laying in the bed 
in the middle of the day and I'm like, when does this man go to work? Now, everybody's saying he works. Jasmine said it, he said it. Okay, well, do he work overnight? Do he work on the weekends only? Do he work three days on, four days off? I'm starting to think that's what Chris' schedule is. He worked three days on, four days off. Because although Jasmine videos are filmed at sporadic times during the day, the ninja is always there. Okay? He's always there. And, you know, she will say from time to time, Oh, um, Chris is on, on his way. When he gets off work, he's going to blah, 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 blah. Girl, please. I, you know, maybe he works. I don't know. It just doesn't appear that way. I'm going to just say that. So... The live, you guys, where they were laying in the bed, um, I didn't really watch a lot of that live because I'm going to be honest with you. I just have a thing with watching people laying in the bed and they supposed to be working. Because at the end of the day, y'all, I'm sorry, that's what YouTube is. It's a job, right? It's a job. And um, you laying in the bed uh, with the covers up to your nostrils and your ninja laying on the other side of you just gives me... I don't give a F vibes. That's what it gives me, you know? Like, I don't care. It, it gave me, I don't feel like putting up a video today. I don't even feel like doing any footage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this camera and I'm going to go live and I'm going to talk to these people for about an hour or so and I'm going to still get paid. And, and yes, that's true. That That is very true. But it's just like, you know, at some point, girl, you know, have a little respect, respect for yourself. You know, I, I just really think like you and your man laying in the bed, even if y'all not doing anything, um, obviously you guys were laying in the bed in the dark for a reason in the middle of the day. Like something was going on. I just really feel like whatever was going on with you, him, or a collective, uh, y'all should have just talked that out and, you know, x us out of it, you know? But again, y'all, that's these, that's these people. So, y'all, I can't really give you a lot of my thoughts on that live because once I seen her laying in that bed after about, I don't know, maybe, maybe I was there for 10 minutes, I clicked off the video. I, can, I can't do that. Like, if you're not going to take yourself seriously, I'm not going to take you seriously. You know, if you had something going on with your depression or whatever, sis, get up, even if you sat in the bathroom, sis, get up, brush your hair back, wash your face, brush your teeth, and sit, you know, sit on the side of the, sit on the toilet and lean on the sink and be like, y'all, I'm over it. Like, I just got so much going on and I'm over it. I just don't. I'm not feeling it. You know, give us those type of videos because, again, a lot of people can relate to that. So then the next video, you guys, was um, she she was showing her children the meaning of MLK Day. She actually changed the title of the video because initially the video wasn't titled that, but then she had changed it. She changed the thumbnail. Anyway, so Jasmine... Um, came on her camera to let us know that she was going to do some activities down there in the living room slash basement slash family room slash garage and um you know they got a lot of activity going on down there and in that video that she the kids were painting little pictures and that she gave them the meaning of martin luther king day or told them the meaning and so uh at one point they were out in the parking lot and chris was sitting there and Jasmine goes and sits on Chris's lap and Jasmine tells Chris she loves him and so he was like I love you too real dry had really no expression to his face and y'all know a lot of us feel like <laughs> Chris don't really care for Jasmine because his personality his expression I'm a meaner be a little off well Chris told us in that live the other day that he did on the extra Chris and Jazz channel is that he's always had that blah look on his face said he said that his mother has always told him that he you know change your face and he said that's just the look he was born with all right i personally felt like when jasmine plopped on that man's lap and she was like i love you babe and she threw the camera in his face so he could say it back and he gave a really dry i love you i really felt like that was like girl i've already told you today i love you i was getting I'm tired of telling YouTube that I love you. That's what I was getting. I was getting, how many times do I got to tell you I love you, Jasmine? That's that's what I was getting. You know, I'm like, God damn, Jasmine, how many times does this man have to tell you he love you? Yeah, I'm starting to you know, in the beginning, we felt like Jasmine was doing that for, the, for YouTube. She was doing it for the camera. I'm starting to think now, sister, are you doing this for Philip? 
So the people that know Philip can run back and tell him, oh, Jasmine and Chris are really in love over there. Like, I'm really starting to get these vibes. Y'all, I, I don't know. Y'all let me know down below. But his reaction to her, I love you, was very, very dry. And I just got that. I got the feeling the man is tired of telling you that, sis. I'm not saying he don't love her or like her or whatever. But I just feel like he's tired of telling her that on YouTube. That's just my personal feeling. So, at the end of the video, she sits in the garage and she wanted to let us know that she has a lot of respect for Chris's baby mother and his children. And I'll say... I said, wait a minute. Did I miss something? Where was Chris, baby mama, and his children? Y'all didn't see them. Well, y'all, she wanted to let us know she respects their privacy and she's not going to be, you know, putting them on the camera. I was like, what? They was there, Jasmine? Did I, I said, did I miss something in this video? Because I didn't see. I said to myself, okay, Jasmine. Well, why are you explaining that to us, sis? We didn't even know they were there. So why are you telling us now? Like, since we didn't even know they were there, you didn't even, or maybe she did say it. Y'all let me know down below if she even said it in the video, because I don't even remember hearing her say it. Chris and, and his baby mom and the kids are here for Martin Luther King Day. I, I don't remember hearing her say that. So I wonder when she sat on Chris's lap and said, I love you, babe. And Bay said it and Chris said it back. Was, was the baby mama holding the camera for that magical moment? I, I don't know. I don't know. But um, I said, uh, well, I guess Jasmine's trying to turn into a real good stepmom, okay? And she, you know, she respects Chris's children's privacy, and she won't be showing them on the camera. Um, okay, girl, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's not that's, it's not so much the fact that you respect it. If Chris, if the kid's mother don't want her kids on YouTube, or especially on your channel. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, Jasmine had a pretty upstanding, rounded channel, like a actual, you know, good channel where she's not doing all this weird stuff on her channel. Um, the baby mama probably wouldn't have had any problems, but I'm pretty sure the baby mama is watching all these reaction videos and things of that nature. And she was like, oh, hell no, nah. you know, I'm not putting my kids on that channel. But y'all, that just, that really was funny to me because I was just like, okay, Jasmine, where, where did that come from? Like, since why are you telling us this like hell we didn't even know they was there you know maybe she wanted to let chris's baby mama know how much she really respect her well since she you said she was there you should have told her that why are you telling us this in a video like we don't okay girl you respect this baby mama you should she ain't done shit to you oh y'all these videos these people on these channels y'all they just be killing me they be killing me they be killing me i yeah oh my god so, y'all let me know down below what y'all thought. If y'all saw the video and, you know, I don't know, y'all. At, at, at this point, I'm just like, Olivia and Jasmine especially are literally ODing us on these men and their life. You know, it does appear that Chris and Jasmine have a little better situation. It's not so up and down, up and down, up and down. We already see what Olivia Brandon is over there going through. And, y'all, we could just imagine what is going to happen next. Like, Olivia is going to have so much content fooling with Brandon. It's ridiculous. Now, it sounds like Olivia is moving. Is she moving out of state? I don't know. Is she moving somewhere else in Texas? Maybe. I don't know. But I guess we will soon see. Because trust and believe she's going to let us know. All right, you guys, I'm gone. I'm out of here. I definitely will see y'all in the next one. And remember, sub what you love.